Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We've got everything for you right here. We're going to get into some NHL action for March the 4th, but before we do, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP club section. And you see all these tabs here that has all of these tools to help you make your picks. So the NHL season is getting down to the final couple months and the playoff positions are really starting to heat up. So we're going to take a look at four of the games for March 4th in a uh, pretty pretty good day for hockey here. So the first game we're going to look at is the Boston Bruins and the Toronto Maple Leafs. As you see here, Toronto comes in burning hot, winners of five out of their last six. While Boston is average status three and three over their last six. If you take a look at the over-under, the teams have been in, involved in shootouts pretty much. Look at all these games over the line. Every one of the last six for both teams over the line. The score prediction has Toronto by a 4-3 to three score with about 52% confidence in the prediction. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, Boston has overtaken Toronto in that category, plus 30 to plus 25. Head-to-head -head for the season, they met back on December the 2nd, and they also met on November the 2nd. And you see that Boston won both games, both games by a goal, one at home and one on the road. Toronto is 16-11-2 at home, and the Bruins are very solid 16-5-9 on the road. If you take a look at the stability factor, you see that the Boston is at plus 8 compared to plus 7, but you can see lately they haven't been nearly as consistent. They were as high as plus 13 back about uh, a little over a month ago. In the end, I think this is going to be Toronto to continue their hot trend, and I think they're going to get their first win of the season over Boston, and will go over the line. Next one we want to look at is Florida and the New York Rangers. If you take a look at this one here, uh, both teams come in burning hot. The Rangers are 5-1 and one over the last six, and so are, is Florida. And this is the game uh, between the two, one, two of the top teams in the Eastern Conference. This will be a real battle. If you look at the over-under, the teams have been involved in games on opposite sides of the line. You see Florida over the line in the last three, while New York under the line in two out of the last three. But the score prediction has the Rangers by a 4-3 to three score with a high level of confidence in the prediction of about 82%. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, the Rangers up here at plus 31 at the top here for a little while here, while Florida is at plus uh, 22. If you go head-to-head, -head, the teams met back on December the 23rd with Florida winning by a 4-3 to three score as a home favorite. We take a look at the stability factor. Consistency-wise, both teams have been moderately consistent after a while. They're a pretty inconsistent play. You can see up and downward on this chart here, but now lately it's been a pretty stable upward trend for both teams, meaning that they are consistently playing with regard to their favorite underdog status. Farda is an exceptional road team, 28-2 uh, and two on the road, and New York is impressive as, at home as well at 21-7. and seven. In the end here, I like the Rangers to even the score by about a goal, but I'm going to pass on the over-under bet. If we take a look here, St. Louis and Philadelphia, neither team's playing their best hockey lately. Philadelphia's ice cold up, uh, two and four over the last six, and you can see St. Louis just one and five dead status, and that is over their last six games. If you take a look at the over-under, the teams are trending in games mostly over the line. Uh, four out of the last five games combined have been over the line, and the score prediction is... Uh, Relating such too, if this holds true, St. Louis 5, Philadelphia 4, with confidence in the prediction of about 75%, that would be a, a game over the line. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, neither team is up very high at the moment. Philadelphia at plus 10, they were up a lot higher just a few weeks ago at plus 19. And the same thing with St. Louis. You can see they were at plus 17, and their downward trend puts them down to plus 3 at the moment. If you take a look at the head-to-head -head matchup between the two teams, they met back on January the 15th, and that was a Philadelphia 4-2 win on the road as a slight road underdog. Philadelphia is 15-13-2 and two at home. Not great, but not terrible. A little bit over 500, but and St. Louis is close to 500 on the road at 13-15-2. I like Philadelphia in this one at home. Um, I think it might take over time for them to do it, but I like Philadelphia, and, but we'll pass on the over-under bet. We got Vegas and Columbus also that we want to look at. Vegas comes in ice cold down after losing three out of, or four out of their last five, and they're just two and four over their last six. While Columbus is ice cold down also, also just two and four over their last six. Uh, look at the over under Vegas over the line in five of their last six and their last five, 
but Columbus has been over and under in to twice, you know, both twice in um, the last four, but over in four out of the last six. The score prediction has Vegas by a 4-3 score, but take it this with a little bit of grain of salt at the moment because the confidence in the prediction right now is only 35%. On the power ranks indicator, Vegas has been higher than Columbus by a wide margin all season long, and they continue to do so at plus 26 compared to plus 8, although both teams are on the slight downward trend. Head-to-head wise, the two teams have not yet met this season, and Vegas won both games last season. The records here at home is Vegas 19-9-2, and Columbus out on the road is just 9-14-6. and six. Columbus is the worst team in the Eastern Conference. I really don't expect much of a game here, to be honest. I think this is Vegas by at least two goals in a game over the line. And then, there's, and then there is Chicago and uh, Colorado, which we're not going to look at. And there's also Seattle at Calgary. So it's kind of a light schedule in the NHL for this day. But those are the games that we had for you for today. So happy betting, and we will see you again next week.